Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a storybook page turn in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be creating something that looks a little bit like this, and you can see it's just a simple transition, a simple page turn transition right there. Now, there is a couple of built-in transitions. If we go into our effects, and then down into video effects, remove the search query here, down into video transitions, and then to like the page peel, but that isn't exactly what we're trying to do here. That's like a, a top to bottom sort of page peel. What we're gonna be doing is creating that sort of storybook turn. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna need to do is just import our footage. Let's go ahead and import two new clips over here. And let's just keep existing settings. And you'll notice that we just have this clip and we wanna transition it to, let's say this clip over here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to first cut this one to size, and then we're going to place these two on top of each other. Now, we want to have a few video tracks here, so if you don't have enough, just keep dragging up. We're going to be rearranging this a couple of times. It's a little tricky in that aspect, getting these two right, um, but the top one is going to be what we're transitioning to. The bottom one is what we're transitioning from. So let's go ahead and start the effect. What we're going to be using is we're going to be using two main effects here, the crop and the basic 3D and inside the basic 3D, the swivel. So if we go ahead and look up basic 3D in our effects, it'll be under perspective, basic 3D. And let's go ahead and drop that onto our first clip, which is going to be down here. So the background is going to be this, and we want to transition it to the, the foreground or the top layer right here. So let's, we've dropped basic 3D on, and now if you see if we do the swivel, the right side of this is what we want. The right quadrant over here is where the swivel actually takes place. And this is what we want to sort of capture here. This is the, the essence of the effect, is we're gonna be doing almost like three steps here, or I guess four steps. What we wanna do is we wanna have this background, so this is gonna be our left page, this will be our right page. We're going to fold this in on itself, and then when it folds in, the right side is gonna have whatever we're transitioning to. And then when it folds out, whatever's on the back side of this page is going to be what we're transitioning to as well. So let's go ahead and begin the swivel. We're going to start this, uh, let's move this forward a little bit and let's start this up, for example. Let's go to zero here and then move forward to right around the end of the clip. And now what we want to do is we wanna bring this to 180. And so what that's going to do essentially, oh, we need to make sure that we toggle the animation right here. So let's go back to the beginning, right like so, toggle animation, move to the end, type in 180 or drag it out. Uh, typing is a little easier. And now what we've done is we've just created the very basics of the effect here. Now what we wanna do is we want to sort of do two things. We wanna make a background for this to start with. So let's bring this up and let's duplicate this. If we hold the Alt key, we can duplicate it down and we're gonna go ahead and delete the bottom layer. And now you'll see that we have the bottom layer and then this one pivoting over that bottom layer. But we don't want this left side. All we want is like the page turn to start. So we're gonna go and search for something called crop, which will be under video effects, transform, and then crop. And we're gonna bring that onto the, the swiveling one, which is the top one right here. And once we go here, we're gonna go down to the crop effect and go left side here. And you'll notice if whenever we create uh, or increase this, it crops that during the swivel. So let's go ahead and bring this up to 50%. And now you'll notice that we have the page turn starting. However, right now, all we're doing is, there's two problems actually, is that the bottom layer is still the, uh, the layer we started with. And once we get past 90 degrees, you'll notice that it's just the same one swiveling back this direction. So. What we wanna do now is we wanna go ahead and create a new sort of base layer. So if we think about it, this layer right here is just the right side, and this layer right here is just the left side. So if we take this one, this top one, which is just the right side, and we drag it above this one, now, I'm gonna turn it on like so, now whenever we swivel past it, this bottom one will come into view. However, it's right now taking over the left view as well. So we're going to need to do the inverse of what we did to uh, this, and we're gonna need to crop off the left side of this one. So if we go into the crop and we drag it onto this, we can then crop off the left side right here. 
or actually it's going to be the exact same of what we did this we're going to crop the left because we're turning because this is the left turn right here we'll do the inverses in just a little bit or the opposite so now what we have is we have the beginnings of the effect however you'll notice that whenever it starts turning it still is in that that weird swivel pattern uh, so what we want to do is once we get to this 90 degree mark the 90 degree mark is important right here we want to then take the footage and we want to do the same effect but with this instead so this right now is the 302 and so what we want to do is take this and we're going to duplicate this above the other layer then we're going to go into our effects and go into basic 3d once more and we're going to drag that on there make sure it's got basic 3d on there and we're going to instead of cropping off the left side we're going to crop off the right side and this will make sense in just a second while we're doing this so we're going to go ahead and crop off the right side now it's uh it's showing the whole thing because this has only its left side or this is only its right side this is only its left side so it creates a full image here but what we want to do is we want to take this right here and we want to also add the basic 3d onto here which is right here and we want to swivel this to 90. now you'll notice that it's back to exactly the original state and then let's go ahead and make sure that our timing is the same so if we go into the original swivel we'll just go down here and you see these keyframes right here we want to jump over to this keyframe right here this is where the animation is supposed to be complete now it's going to move our cursor here and if we click on this we can go ahead and do the swivel here as well but let's go ahead and go back to that 90 degree point we need to toggle the animation so this is the 90 degree point so our swivel starts here then we go into where the original swivel is happening use this to jump to the most the farthest keyframe just so that they're at the same point as uh, it's the same motion we don't want the page to go slow and then go really fast at the end we want it to go in the same fluid motion so now once we're here it's all lined back up we'll go down to the swivel and we'll type 180 right here and what we get is oh okay so what's going on here is we need to crop this off it's still doing its swivel pattern right here so right when we get to the 90 degree mark we need to end the first one and right here we need to begin our second one so the left side this is the page turning from right to center and this is the page turning from center to left and then there we have it okay so now we have swiveling across like so and you'll notice we have a little bit of a problem here is because whenever we swivel it around whenever we take it and we spin it on its axis it's now backwards and this is an easy fix if we go over here into the uh, search for horizontal flip we can drag that on to this top layer which is the left page that turned over and you'll notice that what it does is immediately it flips it across the axis and that's a problem we want it to still be over here so this is where the order of the effects over here comes into play and it's very important we want to drag the horizontal uh, flip above everything the reason we want to do this is before when it was below everything everything on the top so like the crop the basic 3d all of that that was happening was happening um before the flip so the crop happened then it swiveled and then it applied the flip and in that situation it just uh it just takes it and it just basically duplicates it across however if we put horizontal flip before these effects then all it's going to do is it's just going to invert it and then do these effects which is exactly what we want which is going to create the full image at the end and so this now we have the storybook page turn just like so thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments go ahead and throw them in the comment section below i know this was a decently complex sort of tutorial but if you go through it a few times i know you'll get it Thanks, everyone, and until next time, guys, see ya.